Goop players. And a grub cave. Welcome back to Springing Spiders. I'm joined by Springing Spider Aaron. Hi, hello. My name is Springing Spider Aaron. My name is Springing Spider Ross. We are both specialists in the Springing Spider area. Tell us a little about about Springing Spiders. The thing spiders. about Springing Spiders is that when you see them on the ground, you're not really sure where they're going. Oh my god! You're not really sure where they're gonna go, so you gotta be a little careful. Sometimes you'll go to hit them and they will jump in the opposite direction than the direction you were planning on hitting them. Down? This is caused by the wind resist- the wind- the- the- the wind they feel you can't jump on when him. you He's try to plan. slap them. You can't jump on him, you, a porcupine. I know. This is because when you try to- when you try to hit any bug, they have antenna, and then the antenna detect the wind. And then when it feels the wind, it knows that it has to move in a separate direction. That's right, Ross, but we're not talking about bugs, we're talking about spiders. That's right, Aaron. And when you hit a spider, spiders- oh my god, they jump around and they don't- oh, without- you can, they don't kill you. They jump around, jump around, jump around now. Wait, hold on, I have an jump idea. Jump up, jump up, but get down. Thanks. Wow, great friend. Great friend. Thank you for that. I really appreciate you helping me in that situation. Why are you just sitting there? Why are you- why are you just sitting there? How come you're playing with your foot? What do you- oh my god. You are probably one of the best Donkey Kong players I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I am just- I'm constantly impressed by your knowledge and skill of what the game's tried, ins and outs. Aaron, what if I tried to murder you right now? I would probably be upset, I don't know. <laughs> what do you want me to say? What if I like, was like- yeah, That'd be cool. What if don't I was like, it. Aaron, I have a gun, and I'm gonna shoot you right now. You have to tell everyone your last words. Alright. What, what are the man? last words? Um... You guys know Too many, it. you're dead. What are your last words? You guys know it. You, you, we have it recorded on film. Mm -hmm. Ross is a crazy person. But what would you say besides that? That's, that's what I what would, would say. What were the words you would leave the world? Um, dear world. Okay, dear world. Thank you. Thank you. For all of the laughs and all of the gaffes. Signed, your friend Aaron. I probably wasted that. I should have probably said like, Susie, I love you. You're my wife and my could, family. Couldn't you have just said, "Here's what I would say before I I I'd threaten myself." Before you threaten I, I get I, I legally get one phone call, and then he'd be right. He's right, and then I call the police. <laughs> legally, call one <laughs> phone call. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm actually legally obliged to get one phone call before you illegally shoot me in the face. <laughs> Imagine that. It's like someone's like, "I'm gonna murder you," and they're just crazy enough that you're like, "I'm allowed one phone call," and they're like, "Shit, I think he's right," and they give you one phone call and you call the police. You know what? Let's look it up on my phone. Yeah, you're right. You get one yeah, phone I'm, call. Before that was really get, quick. That was really quick. Executed, yeah. That was really True. quick. How do I get that? 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 How do I throw me? There? Oh, you're so fucking smart. But without oh. killing us both. Like, obviously on the other side first. Oh my god, you killed me. Whatever, you did it to me first. I didn't mean to, it was an accident. You didn't mean to, you threw me directly. What if, okay, directly. Here's, here's the situation for you. What if, um, you woke up, and you were a spider. What would- how would you live your life? I would just live it as a spider, I guess. But how, what if- what if- What other what if, way is there to live? What if Susie tried to kill you? And she's like, why is there a giant spider in my bed? I would probably make like a Charlotte's Web-esque situation. Where I would like write like, I love you Susie in the web. But I'd probably specify first that it was me. And not just a random spider <laughs> saying I love you. Cause that would probably be really creepy for her. <laughs> I'd be scared and of shit. And wanna kill it more. <laughs> She's like, this- this spider is trying to have an affair with me, I must kill it, and I'd, then you would kill it dead. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'd be like, uh, first of all, this is Aaron. Like, yeah. I would just like, <laughs> like, um, first of all, this is Aaron in the web. And you would write, um? Please don't, please don't, like, I know it's hard for you to understand, I like, run out of web. I'm yeah. like, shit. <laughs> Wait, give me- you like, you need like a certain amount of time to produce more jizz web? Jizz web? Well, I mean, what is web? Right? No, it's a, you're the jumping spiders expert. You are. Oh, you're the one who was spouting off facts like a fucking jizz. Fucking jizz. There, it's jizz. Okay. N. Get N. Now get balloon. Yeah, but we didn't get O. Oh, oh no, we're only gonna be able to spell coon. Yeah, that's right. Only coon. What do you want, uh, fucking yellow spide? What's over here? Did I? 
Go backwards? I guess Sure, so. you're going backwards. You're dumb. Thanks. Okay, so here's the situation, You're right? the swinging spider Here's the expert. situation. Okay, go for it. Alright. The situation is... You have- you have, uh... You- you have died. Right. No, I mean, sorry, you know, you haven't died. You're alive. You're alive. You're well. Right. Uh, and you lost a leg. Okay. Now, the only way that you're gonna be able to move on with your life is that you have to get either one of the two options. A gross tentacle for a leg, mm -hmm. or a giant, um... Hmm... A giant snake that always tries to bite you. Who... First of all, the tentacle, obviously. Okay. Second of all, who- The, the tentacle always tries to touch your penis. That's great. So, would I rather have a harmless tentacle that would actually cause me occasional pleasure, and is a minor annoyance in situations where I don't actually want that, or a snake that is constantly trying to kill me? I think maybe this is the hardest decision I've ever made in my life. What if the snake, what if the snake, like, they're like, no, but the, the pain that you're feeling is just psychological from losing your leg. The snake is not really biting you, but you'd be like, it totally is, but no one believes you. How, how would that be any different? I mean, you still have to make the decision. Uh, obviously the, the tentacle that wants to touch my penis. Okay. There's, there's literally no contest. Also, who is this person that's offering me this deal? And why have I lost a Dr. leg? Dr. Swartz fits, and you, you, uh, you lost your leg because you, you lost it in a game of, uh, bowling. Bowling? Bowling. Did I just bowl incorrectly? No, you just, you just, you just made a bet and you lost. And the bet was that I would lose my leg. What would I gain if I won? Another leg? So three legs. Yes, three legs. That seems like a really shitty bet. <laughs> lose one leg if I lose, gang a superfluous third leg. You'd, you, you would get, you get, you'd get a third leg, which would be a snake that bites you. <laughs> or a tentacle that always wants to touch my penis. Cool, man. I'm gonna still go with the tentacle, you know, I don't know if much has changed. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, alright. Okay, yeah, what if- Are the, you- are you disappointed? I'm kinda <laughs> like, disappointed. What, what, what would if the you bites, choose? What if the bites gave you, uh, superhuman powers? Like, every time? Yeah. So it was like a new power every time? Yeah. How many more... How often would it try to bite me, first of all? Uh, we're talking about... Every three hours. That's a lot. Even I when you're know. sleeping. So you could, you could get, like, super cool powers while you're asleep. <laughs> yeah, but... Like, you'd run out of powers at a certain point. Like, how many fucking superhuman powers are there? Uh, actor, ask Dr. Xavier, he could tell you he has a brain. So there's- there's four bites every day. Yep. There's seven bites a week. Mm hmm So that's 28 bites a week. Yep. Uh... You can cycle through powers. And I guess maybe like, was it, like roughly, I don't know, fucking... 60-something, 70-something bites mm -hmm. a, a, a month. Yep. So that's already fucking seventy something bites. Every powers. You better come that's, up with some good powers. That's then. a lot of power. I have to create them. Yes. And they can't be the same one, or you die. <laughs> <laughs> have to this sounds horrible. They have to be dude. slightly different every would I, time. Would I be able to cut off the snake head once I have like enough powers that I'm okay with? No, you got you got to do this for the rest of your life. There's no way. There's no it's, way. It's impossible. But you would get you could you could say, save your situation it's with so a snake that would bite your leg, or a tentacle that would jack me off every so often. But when you get it, you 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 can't walk. When you get ja when you jacks you, you can't walk. All right, whatever. If I lost a leg, I'd be hobbling anyway. But it's every two hours. That it would try to jerk me off, mm -hmm. even like, while you're asleep. And that's, you that's a good time. And between. you would come every single time. Awesome. But. Whenever, but nothing else would get you off. Your wife wouldn't be able to get you off anymore. Uh, You're like, you literally have to survive, uh, with elf. No, I didn't mean to say elephant. You would have to, the only way you could get off is for a tentacle to jerk you. Still gonna have to go with the tentacle. That seems like way worse than, like, the inevitable, like, death in maybe a month and a half with the fucking snake leg. Can I tell you what my answer would already what, be? What is it? I would take the snake. Okay. You don't hear me out. Uh -huh. I would get bitten first time. Yeah. You know the power I'd come up with? What? The power to get out of this stupid bargain. And then I would get rid of that forever. And then I'd be done. 
Smart. Why the fuck wouldn't you like wait a couple times and get like flying and teleporting powers? Well, I'd do that first and then do get out of the thing. Wait, why does it say LR? LR press L and R There you go. Oh my god, I probably never noticed that as a kid <laughs> Wow Nice nice teaching tactics, bro. Did you, I, I this don't, game's, I, game's don't smart. I don't know if I knew that to be this honest. Smart. I think I must have known that. Wow, dude, wow. that's crazy. Wow, I probably was just avoiding the piranha as a kid. He had a barrel inside his tummy. He had a barrel inside his gizzard. Did you notice that? I did not. He had a barrel inside of his gizzard. I did not notice that. You pass out on a secret barrel opportunity, dude. Oh shit! I, I, did I just fucking wall jump there? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Fucking triangle oh, fuck. jump with the oh, elephant. Fuck, that's hard as shit. Get back up there. Suck. L R L R L R. You failed me for the last time, Starscream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next time I get Grum Kid. Grum Kid. Every time I, I didn't say you, anything. Every time I, I say, look at you I in the Grumkid. eyes and I say I will murder you. I said Grumkid. I will give you a snake bite. Look, if you're on fucking five different shows, then you would get him confused too. Welcome back to, to Steam Cade. There you go. Next time on Steam Creed. You have the controller. You have the power!